Just chumming. Can I catch a fish? I'm dedicated, I get in the water. What is going on guys? Today we're doing some fishing, <clears throat> I can't speak, but today we're doing some fishing aboard Team Living the Dream with Captain Tim Massey and we are fishing out of Boynton Beach. This is our first time back offshore after we've been back from the Florida Keys. It's a beautiful day, looking forward to it and hopefully we catch a lot of fish. Good buddy, how are you? Good. Special baits instead of all pilchards. I got you some sardines. Nice. So basically we just came out the inlet and we ran just, you know, half a mile out and we're gonna start fishing right away. So we're gonna get lines out. And I'm gonna put this on the bent butt, but we are gonna wahoo troll this morning. Basically just regular troll, pulling big baits like big mullets, big rig mullets and big ballyhoos and just run around. Basically regular trolling, just going in and out 100 to 300 feet of water, try to catch a fish in the first couple hours. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna send up a kite. probably half an hour to 45 minutes into our troll this morning we just hooked our first fish and it's coming in right now but I saw kind of what was going on with the rods and the rod tip was bending over and then it took off on the other flat line that we had and I don't know what it is oh it's a little dolphin nice Awesome! This is a good way to start the day for sure. And as you can see, it's gorgeous out here. And I'm actually in my jacket because I'm a little chilly as well. Like that cold front blew through last night. But we got a nice dolphin. Oh. All right, fish coming up. All right, so we have kind of basically we re stopped trolling and we've changed our fishing method now. We have live bait with us that we bought from Gary, the live bait guy. And so now we decided since we only caught one fish trolling, it's time to go ahead and set up the kite. That's what Tim is doing right now, Captain Tim. And we have two flat lines out on this side. There's a lot of black fin tuna around lately. And I just dropped down a line on the bottom and instantly hooked up. Oh, he's kind of floating now, coming up fast. Let's see what it is. All right, it's a mutton. Bring him in. Sweet! Mutton in the boat. Alright, let's see. We gotta measure him real quick. He gotta be 18 inches to keep. Used to be 16, but he's close. If he's a keeper, let's see. Alright. Not a keeper. So we gotta go ahead and take this hook out. Then we have our sequelizer with us. We don't want to poke holes in fish, we want to release. So we're gonna use our sequelizer and drop him back down to a depth where his air bladder will uh, shrink and he'll be able to swim off no problem. But you can see he's all blown up from coming down from a deep depth. Hooked up on another fish and we have been actually getting a lot of bites the last hour. Uh, Captain Tim has been fishing the kite. We got like two or three bites on the kite but unfortunately every fish never really got hooked. We think one of them was a sailfish, another was a kingfish. I actually saw a uh, kingfish, sorry, I saw a sailfish greyhounding all over the place close to the boat, so that's a good sign. And it's just a gorgeous day out here. Not a lot of boats out, even though it's like Memorial Day weekend. And um, I also just want to mention, I'll find out what this fish here is in a minute, 
But I want to mention that when you go fishing on other people's boats, I mean, I know that Captain Tim is good as far as safety equipment and EPIRBs and PLVs, but you know, when you're on other people's boats, you just want to be prepared, prepare yourself because you never know what can happen out there. And you want to have your own safety equipment, like your own PLB, which I have actually on me right now. Um, but you know, you want to be on the safe side, so you can't always trust what people have on their boat. hook all right let me show you what's going on here I've been bottom fishing and today unfortunately we have a south current going on and when there's a south current that's complete opposite of where it should be going it should be going north so we're dealing with weird situations today we've got a lot of file fish they're also known as tile fish um, that hang around the boat in the chum line and they steal all the bait off my rod when I'm bottom fishing but I'm just got to switch switch my setup basically I've got a live pilter you can see I've got a number four a uh, five op mustad circle hook three times strong with a little piece of wire right here for kingfish and I'm just gonna drop this right over the side and kind of just free line it like yellowtail fishing I'm just gonna cast them out a little bit I've got a sea anchor in the water so cast them out and then just keep the bail open and um, just kind of let them drift back and a lo there's a lot of kingfish in this depth right now we've been getting cut off by a ton of kingfish I actually just dropped the jig down to start jigging and instantly got cut off on the way down I didn't even start jigging yet so we're just trying to get these kingfish in the boat because um, they're cutting our floral leaders. So we've got wire traces on there now and uh, let's see if we can get one right now. Alright so I've been free lining this for a few minutes now. I have a lot of line out. No bites. Uh, so the kingfish kind of slowed down it seems like. Their bite kind of was on fire before. But I'm just going to go ahead and close the bale. Leave it out. It's going to be the shotgun line way the heck out there. I'm going to put it in the rod holder and hopefully it goes off. And the drag's real light too. So if we get a king on there we'll just tighten it down. Just caught a little baby baby mutton on a live pilchard. So we're going to go ahead and release him. Uh, but we did have an epic day. We got a dolphin in the boat, a king in the boat, and uh, we missed a lot of fish too. So, you know, that's just part of fishing. You can see the pilchard. Yeah, you can see the pilchard sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> totally inhaled that thing. He's a hungry little guy for that big pilchard. But, pretty cool. We're going to have to uh, get this out of him and then release him. You know, it'll grow big one day. And then hopefully one day soon I can catch a big mutton here in Boynton. Looking forward to it one day. guys who ask quite a lot in a lot of the videos this thing that I've got in my neck in my face here that's called a neck gaiter also known as a hoorag also known as a buff also known as a face mask there's a lot of different names for it but um you know your face is always in the Sun when you're fishing and especially your hands too so sometimes I like to wear gloves and sometimes I like to have this up on my face and yes I'm wearing a bikini uh, but wearing a bikini you know when I put sunscreen on but on my face, you know, I just like to have extra protection as well. I don't want to, you know, have wrinkly skin. We're leaving because we ran out of live bait. We bought our live bait and uh, we spent like $100 on bait. We got sardines, we had live pilchards, we had live goggle eyes, and we're running out of live bait. So that's key out here. And uh, we're getting shallow on our drift. We knew it was a morning bite, so time for us to head in. And our flat line just went off. So I'm reeling in the last fish of the day. I thought that little mutton I just caught was the last fish. But we'll find out what this is. Usually when you're in shallower like we are now, it's usually not something too great, but you never know. You can catch sailfish, you can catch dolphin in shallow, you can catch a lot of stuff. All right. I have got nothing good, like I said. I mean, it's Bonita. Can't complain about that. That's that's shark bait right there. But uh, it's a solid fish. These guys put up a good fight. 
you want to have a fun day with kids on the water, you just come out here in southeast Florida and just really just fish under 100 feet of water and you'll catch these guys all day long. They're here really thick now, along with the black fin tunas, which we didn't get today, but that's fishing. Buddy. Need a We're good. Sweet. Saw a little bony. There we go. Alright, we're wrapping up our day and back at the dock, I'm loading up my car go home but we did have an epic day of fishing with captain tim of team living the dream which you need guys you guys need to check out his page and follow him on facebook living the dream right just living the dream charter living the dream that's it living the dream yeah. yeah we'll have it down linked in the description below so you can check that out but he uh does a lot of tournaments and they're just trying to get their page going so if you could give them a follow that would be great but we did an epic day i mean we caught a lot of fish and had a lot of bites you know, there's not much you can do with a south current going on. So, you know, we dealt with that, but we caught fish and had a blast. And yeah, we loved the new wrap on his boat. So it was a totally epic day. Finally getting back on the water in Boynton after our, our Keys fishing trip for three weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe. And until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. I think I see a shark. You better hurry up. I see a shark. <laughs> Just because I'm in the chum line doesn't mean there's no sharks. <laughs> that for you? What are you doing? Just chumming. Gotta catch a fish. I'm dedicated. I get in the water. <laughs>